This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. All right, so this is from a case I had a few days ago that ended up being kind of interesting. So the general presentation was a pretty young guy in his 20s coming from the Federal Corrections Facility. We see a fair amount of patients from the Federal Corrections Facility down the road. And the complaint was of a seizure, first time seizure. And when we got a little more information from EMS, the patient and his cellmate both were reported to have a seizure kind of right at the same time, which is obviously very interesting. It makes you think about something environmental or ingestion. And then the patient fell, hit his head, and was still kind of slow, so they sent him in. Initially, he was, he seemed post-ictal, but with a really kind of slow speech pattern. He had a head CT and labs that looked fine and was being monitored. And then when he started waking up a little more, he told us uh, he thought he took a bunch of pills that he thought were seizure medication that started with T, and then he thought they were Tegretol. And I asked the guards, how would someone get a bunch of pills, and I guess some patients get their own medications to self-administer in the prison, which I thought was interesting. And then the patient also said there's a whole bunch of things that the prisoners take, so maybe we shouldn't assume that just because people are in a federal corrections facility, they're not getting access to either other people's medications or other illicit substances. So we did check a Tegretol level on him, and it was very elevated, and he had persistent symptoms of kind of ataxia, slurred speech, pretty drowsy, which are the kind of typical symptoms of a Tegretol overdose. In really bad overdoses, Tegretol can actually cause hemodynamic instability, hypotension, prolonged QT, sometimes needs to actually be dialyzed if patients are really sick with it. But in mild cases like this guy, he just got admitted and monitored, and I think probably cleared it over a day or so. But seizures in young, healthy people, toxic ingestions are definitely something to consider, even if they're coming from what you think is a very monitored environment. Any questions or comments? Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.